of Engineering. Displayed today are the flags of the United States, the state of California, and the 34 countries in which the university offers international educational opportunities to our students. The commencement program which you have been given lists this ceremony's sequence of events. Due to the large number of graduates, and because we wish to maintain the dignity and pomp of the ceremony, we have arranged for individual photographs to be taken of graduates as they are presented to the chancellor to receive their certificates. The entire commencement exercise will also be recorded and available to watch on demand. Images of this public event may also appear in other university media. We respectfully request that families and friends not attempt to move into the platform area. Entering the commencement green, led by the group of four student marshals, are the 2023 engineering graduates. The student marshals are distinguished by having perfect 4.0 GPAs as of their penultimate graduation quarter.
Entering the commencement green is the Chancellor's Party, led by University Marshal Susanna Scott, Professor of Chemical Engineering, Professor of Chemistry and Biochemistry, and Chair of the Academic Senate. Faculty members are dressed in full academic regalia with the gowns and hoods appropriate to their academic disciplines and the universities from which they obtained their PhDs. It is now my pleasure to announce our participating campus officials. Henry T. Yang, Chancellor of UCSB and Distinguished Professor of Mechanical Engineering. David Marshall, Executive Vice Chancellor and Professor of English and Comparative Literature. Teresa Pollack, Interim Dean of Engineering and Alcoa, Distinguished Professor of Materials. Gary McPherson, Vice Chancellor of Administrative Services. Samantha Putnam, Executive Director of Alumni Affairs. Michael Doherty, Distinguished Professor and Mellichamp Chair in Process Systems Engineering, Department of Chemical Engineering. Carlos Levy, Moravian Distinguished Professor of Materials and Distinguished Professor of Mechanical Engineering. Katie Bill, Associate Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Forrest Brewer, Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Luke Theogarajan, Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Michael Gordon, Professor and Robert G. Rinker, Founders Chair of Chemical Engineering. Todd Squires, Professor of Chemical Engineering. John Gilbert, Professor Emeritus of Computer Science. Tyler Susco, Associate Teaching Professor of Mechanical Engineering. Jeff Tsai, Assistant Teaching Professor in Mechanical Engineering. Diva Mirza, Associate Teaching Professor in Computer Science. Siad Matni, Assistant Teaching Professor in Computer Science. Yogananda Isakapali, Senior Teaching Professor in Electrical and Computer Engineering. Joel Hispania, Distinguished Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering. B.S. Majanov, Distinguished Professor and Department Chair in Electrical and Computer Engineering. Tevik Bultan, Professor and Department Chair in Computer Science. Tobias Huller, Professor in Computer Science. Elliot Hawks, Associate Professor in Mechanical Engineering. And Jeff Mollis, Professor and Department Chair of Mechanical Engineering. Good afternoon. Please stand and join Allison E., Chemical Engineering, Class of 2023, in the singing of the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early but so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er oh, the ramparts we were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the Please be seated. It is an honor for me to introduce UC Santa Barbara's Interim Dean of the College of Engineering, Professor, professor Teresa Pollack, Alcoa Distinguished Professor of Materials.
Thank you, Associate Dean Belts. Greetings and welcome to all of you. It's an honor to be here to celebrate the achievements of our graduates. And it's remarkable to feel the energy and the pride in the air today. To the College of Engineering's class of 2023, congratulations. <laughs> Today marks a major milestone in your lives. It took exceptional determination, hard work, commitment, and perseverance to reach this momentous occasion. I want to extend my appreciation and recognition to your parents, family, and friends. Their love, support, and guidance have helped all of you become graduates today. I would also uh, like to ask our faculty in attendance today to please rise. Are there any out there? They're all up here. OK. So uh, I would like to thank all of you for teaching, advising, and mentoring our graduates. You've helped prepare the class of 2023 for the next step, and we appreciate your dedication to them. So, I would like to share a few facts about the College of Engineering's class of 2023. There are a total of 403 bachelor's degrees that have been conferred during this academic year, which is tied for the second most in college history. 157 degrees in computer science. 86 in mechanical engineering. <laughs> 62 in electrical engineering. <laughs> Very good. Uh, 57 in computer engineering. 41 in chemical engineering. 56 graduates completed the college honors program, and 19 of you are graduating with more than one bachelor's degree. Yeah. Roughly one-third of you are first-generation students. Very special to me. I am also a first-generation college student. And finally, 69 of you, or 17%, are women. I, I feel like I must do this. The Dean would like to congratulate all the female engineers. Please rise. <laughs> Thank you. Class of 2023, we celebrate each and every one of you and all of your accomplishments. So graduates, I trust that during your time here at UCSB, you've experienced the thrill of discovery and learned new things that inspired you to both dig deep, deeper and look to the future. We have given you the tools to be critical thinkers, problem solvers, and innovators. And while we did not plan a pandemic and a revolution in artificial intelligence for your undergraduate career, we do know that your skills at adapting to a fast-changing world are already refined. Very well done. And certainly, living in this beautiful place has given you a strong appreciation for the environment and also led you to think about how engineering can play a role in preserving these places that are so precious to us. So beyond the essential principles of engineering, you've also learned the importance of collaborating to create create new knowledge, and to seek out the facts, all the way down to the smallest details. And speaking of things that are small, as a material scientist, I know the power of just a few small atoms to make materials function in miraculous ways, as well as the potential harm that just a few atoms in a cluster much smaller than the diameter of a single strand of hair could do to arm an aircraft. Small things are important. Chasing things down to these microscopic levels is hard work, 
not to mention expensive, but it's worth it if, if it eventually changes the world. And we can take the example of our own, Professor Suji Nakamura. He started out by trying to grow gallium nitride without any defects, which was very difficult. And then he took that material and invented the blue LED, which then led to a revolution in highly uh, efficient LED lighting, which will save the energy equivalent of 92 1,000 megawatt power generation plants in the U.S. by 2035. That is how you go from small to big. That is also how you get a Nobel Prize. We will get uh, battery materials for our EVs, quantum computing, even go to Mars by paying attention to the smallest things. So indeed, many people in leadership positions will tell you that great things happen due to the accumulation of lots and lots of small steps. Even the famous painter Vincent van Gogh knew this already in 1882. In a handwritten letter to his brother Theo, he wrote, for the great doesn't happen through impulse alone and is a succession of little things that are brought together. In the past couple of years, you've learned that small viruses can completely change the world. More recently, you've learned that you must examine all the small details of images, videos, essays, and news stories to know if they're real or made up by the latest AI tool. And by the way, you can look up Van Gogh's original handwritten letter uh, posted by the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, so I'm reasonably sure that quote is real. So as faculty, we already know that you will do tremendous things over your lifetime. As you enter your professional careers, whether it's pursuing a graduate degree, entering industry, or working within the government, take one small step at a time. Learn something new every day. Listen to everyone in the room. Counter every microaggression with an act of kindness. Be creative, be bold, be a gaucho. <coughs> Oh, and by the way, not all the steps will be in the forward direction. That's okay. You have to explore those side trails and you will need to take some risk. Also, don't, know, don't worry if you don't know where the finish line is. You will step your way toward it together with your UCSB network who will always be with you. We are here for you and we look forward to celebrating your future successes. So with that, thank you and congratulations graduates. I now have the honor of introducing UC Santa Barbara's fifth chancellor and professor of mechanical engineering, Dr. Henry T. Yang, who has a message for the graduates. Uh, welcome to our commencement. It is my honor and a privilege to be with you here today. We are so happy to be here on this beautiful campus with our graduates friends and the family members. Uh, I would like to thank our outstanding faculty. Uh, you have worked so hard to, to teach, to guide, and to support our students while fostering a rich academic environment, even throughout all the challenges of the uh, pandemic, remote teaching, and uh, the return to campus. I would like to thank our dedicated staff for caring for and uh, supporting our campus and our students every day. I would also like to recognize Dean Trisha Pollack. Thank you for your dedicated and outstanding leadership, especially during the pandemic years. Yeah. I would also like to say a special thank you to all of our parents and the family members, especially the grandparents. We recognize, we recognize what you have gone through and the sacrifice you have made. I think I know how you must be feeling. Very proud, very excited, and a little nostalgic, and maybe a little bit relieved. You have provided a strong foundation of love, support, and encouragement for all students throughout their university years, and especially during the past three difficult pandemic years. 
we would like to give all of you our heartfelt applause. <laughs> now to our graduates, congratulations. You have demonstrated to all of us just how special you are. You have inspired us with your intelligence, your curiosity, your perseverance, and of course, your accomplishments. My wife, Dylan, and I have special memories of this class. I vividly remember meeting some of you on our recruitment tour and also the excitement of freshman move-in weekend. Uh, after you moved in, we became your next door neighbors. We especially appreciate your complimentary music during weekends. My wife and I have also enjoyed seeing you on morning and evening walks on campus, around the lagoon, and in a place called Isla Vista. We also appreciate being stopped now and then when asked to take selfie. And I remember how you demonstrate your courage and resilience when a global pandemic turned our world and your college experience upside down. During the three years of pandemic, I continue to teach ME 167. We all struggled on how to teach and learn online for the first year. And I was glad to teach in person for the last two fall quarters. The same strength and the commitment that have helped you overcome these challenges will serve you tremendously as you embark on your life's next chapter. Each of you carries a brief and a unique story of triumph, one that will stay with you throughout your lives. We also have seen how hard you have worked. Some of you have held part-time jobs, pursued double majors, undertaken original research and creative projects, and volunteered your time to help others. You have contributed to the life of our campus and our community in countless ways. A place of rich, rich intellectual vitality, we are also a campus with spectacular natural beauty. Just look at the lagoon here. I know that you graduates will take with you wonderful memories of this place and this time. There's one thing I want you to always remember, that is how you have helped make us a better university. For that, I say thank you. Let me take a moment to mention some of UC Santa Barbara's accomplishments and recognitions. A world-class research university, we are one of 71 members of the prestigious Association of American Universities. This distinction places us among the top 2% of all universities in the United States and Canada. Yeah. Times Higher Education of London in its ranking of the top universities around the world for producing Nobel laureates in this century, places UC Santa Barbara at a number nine. We, we have two engineering professors who have won Nobel Prizes, Herb Cromer and Shuji Nakamura. <laughs> Professor Cromer's original paper on semiconductor heterostructures was rejected by the applied physics letters. Then he submitted to a conference, then was ignored once published by IEEE conference proceedings. Then he was refused the funding to develop a blue lasers. But this was the paper rejected, ignored, and refused, eventually won him the Nobel Prize. Then 30 years later at a Berlin conference, Professor Cromer saw a young engineer from Japan demonstrated his bright blue laser. That was Shuji Nakamura. I went to ask a Nobel committee when Shuji will receive his Nobel Prize. They said, well, uh, you know, we don't give prize for inventions, only for discovery. But if you have rich consequences, and uh, he will get his Price. So in year 2013, when I went to Costco, I saw on the shelves 
all the incandescent light bulbs were replaced by LED light bulbs. I know Professor Nakamura's time has come. The following year, he won his Nobel Prize. <clears throat> Shuji also won the Queen Elizabeth Prize. You know, we, we, we also have two engineering professors who won the National Medal of Technology, Glenn Collar and Arthur Gossard. You know, the internet was invented at UC Santa Barbara. So uh, our campus excellence is complemented by our unwavering commitment to diversity. I'm proud to mention that among this year's graduates, more than a third, 36% are first generation college students. Congratulations to you. I know just how hard you and your parents have worked. Congratulations again. So this year, U.S. News and the World Report, Report ranked the 1,500 national universities among all the public universities in the country. UC Santa Barbara ranks number seven. <laughs> U.S. U.S. News also ranks UC Santa Barbara among institutions with the seventh highest diversity index rating. I mentioned that we are members of the Association of American Universities. We are the first members of the association to be officially designated Hispanic Serving Institution. Newsweek has also ranked us the number one Hispanic institution in the country. Each of you has made unique contributions to our rich diversity and academic excellence. So now I would like to say to our graduates, we honor your accomplishments and celebrate your hard earned degrees. You have challenged yourselves and met the high standards of the university. I can tell you with confidence that starting today and for the rest of your lives, you will always be so proud to say that you are a graduate of UC Santa Barbara. Congratulations. It is now my honor to turn the podium to Associate Dean Glenn Belt. Before we continue on with the ceremony, I'd just like to make a, a special shout out. We're very pleased to have one of our emeritus professors with us today. Professor John Gilbert of Computer Science is here on the platform. Some of our graduates wear a blue and gold braided cord called a forger on their left shoulder. This testifies to the achievement of highest scholastic honors in the college. Some students also have achieved distinction in the major. Still others have earned academic excellence by completing the College of Engineering Honors Program. To earn this distinction, a student must be admitted to the College Honors Program and fulfill multiple academic and community service requirements. At this time, I ask all those students who have achieved academic honors to stand or signal yourselves so we may recognize you. I'm very pleased to introduce our student speaker, Amir Rahman, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering, Class of 2023. Amir was born in Santa Monica, California, grew up there, and attended Santa Monica High School. Throughout Amir's time at UCSB, he has been active at Engineers Without Borders, culminating with his service as external vice president this past academic year. In addition, he has contributed to the Daily Nexus and the Bottom Line campus newspapers, and has competed on the cross-country track team. As a scholar athlete, he has received a Golden Eagle Award twice in recognition of his stellar academics. Amir plans to continue his education at UCSB this fall when he joins the master's degree program in technology management. Would you please join me in welcoming Amir to the podium? Good afternoon, Chancellor Yang, Dean Pollock, distinguished faculty, and my fellow students. What an amazing day this is. 
let's start off by saying how hard engineering is. It's really hard. <laughs> we had the option to stop doing math four years ago. And everyone here in front of this stage said, you know what, four more years of really hard math sounds good to me. So the fact that everyone on this stage today is graduating with a degree in engineering from one of the greatest schools in the country is fantastic. COVID didn't stop us. Really hard math didn't stop us. Not even Dr. Mark's labs could stop us. <laughs> there are so many hours of hard work in front of this stage right now leading to this moment, and it's really something incredibly special. So let's start off by giving a hand to all these new engineers. So parents, you're probably looking towards your kid right now after having them gone the last couple years away from home for the very first time. And you're probably thinking, I wonder what my kid has been doing the last four years. I think it's a common thing. Mom calls you up, she says, hey honey, how are you doing? Tell me about your life, tell me about college. Have you been eating well? What are you learning? And you go, sorry mom, I can't talk right now. I'm really, really busy. And you hang up the phone and you go back to playing spike ball. I bet most parents here can relate to that. And now that your kid is graduating, you've made that final bark tuition payment, you really want to know, what in the world has my kid been doing these last four years? So I asked around. I know all of them didn't have the proper time to fill mom in. They're busy tightening their spike ball net. So I asked around and I got the scoop for you. Let me tell you what the UCSB College of Engineering, class of 2023, was doing. They built a carbon fiber jumping robot that is to be launched 600 feet into the air to take pictures on the moon. They travel to Rwanda to install a rainwater catchment system on the roof of a school to provide clean drinking water for the school students and staff. <laughs> they built an electric race car from scratch. <laughs> they built a rehabilitation device for infants with cerebral palsy to assist them in their movement for the rest of their lives. They built commercial gym equipment for those who are bound in wheelchairs and can't use what is in a normal gym. They built a robot that can climb a 60 degree ramp on a shaking platform to assist sailors at sea. They built solar powered ocean buoys to send real time marine data to researchers. They built an autonomous robot that can scan an unknown environment with LiDAR sensors. They built a smart glove that allows you to twist and turn 3D models in real space with only your hand gestures. They built an underwater camera and DNA collection system for investigating the bioluminescent mating signals of small sea creatures. They built an augmented reality headset that, is, that allows a sailor to draw in 3D space and communicate remotely with a specialist 3,000 miles away. They designed a carbon neutral hydrogen plant to fuel vehicles powered by hydrogen fuel cells. <laughs> That's a lot of engineering. That is a lot of cutting edge engineering tackling some of the hardest projects in the world. And that's just a fraction of what the people in front of the stage have worked on during their college careers here. So parents, that should hopefully answer your first question. What has my kid been doing these last four years? They've been engineering some very cool, extremely impressive things. Now, to what your second question probably is. You're probably thinking, my kid just graduated from UCSB and now they have this license plate, this bumper sticker, this mug, and this t-shirt that say, go gauchos on it. What in the world is a gaucho? I don't think I myself actually looked up what a gaucho was until my second year here, maybe my third. Well, a gaucho is a South American cowboy originating from the Argentina Uruguay area. They were extremely skilled horsemen who would wrangle cattle. They were renowned for that. In fact, they were some of the best horse riders in the world. So now parents, you're probably looking towards your kid again and thinking, I've never seen my kid ride a horse or lasso a cow in their lifetime. They are not a gaucho. What kind of mascot is that? But we are the gauchos. All of us here in front of the stage are all gauchos. And it's not just because we've worn cowboy hats to IV parties. We are so very much the gauchos and I would love to tell you why. For one, there are a couple of theories on the etymology of the word gaucho. One is that the word gaucho comes from the Guaran Indian word for drinker. So, 
So there's that similarity. <laughs> also, I didn't believe this when I first read it because it was almost too perfect, but I promise you that this is real. The gauchos of Argentina were known for consuming massive amounts of yerba mate. <laughs> That's a real fact. It was their drink of choice for a long day of cattle wrangling. With that alone, knowing how many cans of yerba mate these engineering students have guzzled down at the arbor, you can already start to be like, okay, maybe the gaucho is a fitting mascot after all. However, the real similarities between us UCSB engineering students and the gauchos of Argentina is between the character of the two. The gauchos of Argentina were generally reputed to be one, extremely skillful, two, very generous, and three, a little bit unruly, because they are cowboys after all. Extremely skillful, extremely generous, and a little bit unruly. I think I've already proved this first point, extremely skillful, that everyone on this stage has learned to be and grown into being an extremely talented engineer. They have worked on some of the toughest engineering problems there are, and are off to solve tough engineering problems out in the real world. Two, extremely generous. Whether it's in the CAD lab at 11 p.m. or in the library at 2 a.m., you can always find a fellow gaucho willing to help out. We hold each other up, we dance with each other no matter what. One of the things I'll miss most about UCSB is walking through campus or IV and getting 20 hellos in the span of five minutes. The generousness, the kindness, the warmth of the gauchos is staggering. It's so incredibly special. There may be nothing like it anywhere else in the world. Three, a little bit unruly. We are not your standard run-of-the-mill engineers. We are not just nerds. Most of us are not just nerds. We are gaucho engineers, and that name carries weight. Anyone who knows the gauchos knows what kind of student they're dealing with. Gauchos light up a room. We're an extremely happy bunch, and I mean, look around and tell me how we couldn't be. We know how to have fun, and not only do we make our lives enriching in every way it should be, we enrich the lives of everyone around us with our gaucho energy. And that is why we, with our extreme skill, extreme generosity, and little bit of unruliness, identify with the gauchos, and it is why everyone wants a gaucho. It is why we are off to Google, off to SpaceX, high-tech startups, the best grad programs in the country, or starting our own ventures. Everywhere we will do, where we will do amazing things as gauchos. Everyone in front of this stage will do something amazing following graduation, I am sure of that. It has been a fantastic four years at UCSB, and now we will be taking our little slice of paradise here and bringing it wherever we end up. We gauchos will get on our horses, wrangle up everything that, we, everything that we've learned and hold dear at UCSB, and ride off with it, taking it with us across the world. We will be gauchos forever, and today is an especially special day to be a gaucho because we are gaucho graduates. Congratulations to all the graduates today, and go gauchos! Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Amir. We now turn to the awards portion of the ceremony. Our first award has been supported by a generous gift from alumnus John Lake and his wife, Sheila. I am pleased to present the 2023 John and Sheila Lake Excellence Award to Jorge Gutierrez in recognition of his selfless involvement with Los Ingenieros, our student chapter of the Society for Hispanic Professional Engineers, and MESA, our Math, Engineering, and Science Achievement Program. He hails from Santa Ana, California, and is receiving a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering with specialization in semiconductor fabrication and radio frequency engineering. Jorge emerged as a leader during the 2021-22 academic year, helping to organize, fundraise, and host hybrid MESA outreach days. The program ran for two weeks and had in-person competitions, virtual workshops where we sent materials for students to do activities with the student organizations via Zoom and a virtual awards ceremony. The planning committee that year had drastically shrunk and Mr. Gutierrez, along with his team of volunteers, was instrumental in planning and ensuring the students still had an impactful experience. During his most recent academic year, Jorge became the Los Ingenieros co-chair. In this role, he led the organization back to a predominantly in-person mode and built their membership from a pandemic average of about 40 students back up to their pre-pandemic membership level of about 70 students. Jorge participated in several Mesa Day events as both a competition judge, volunteer, and a member of the planning committee. For the 2022 Destination College Mesa Day, 
He was one of two Los Ingenieros students who secured over $14,000 in funding to make that outreach event possible. He has devoted much of his time to mentoring the next generation of Gaucho engineers and K-12 students in our local partner school districts. After graduation, he will take a position with Northrop Grumman in Baltimore, Maryland, where he will work as an associate hardware engineer. Jorge, would you please come forward? The Terrell Award for Distinction in Undergraduate Research is made annually by the College of Engineering in honor of Matthew Terrell, former dean of the college, to recognize graduating seniors who have shown excellence and promise as a researcher during their academic career. I am delighted to announce this year's award recipient is Zhongying Zhuo, a double major in mechanical engineering and physics. Since her freshman year, Zhongying has participated in several types of research projects under the guidance of mechanical engineering professor Bo Lin Lao. Zhang Ying's initial UCSB research started before she even set foot on campus, in which she developed a Monte Carlo simulation as part of a computational model for exploring the intersection of quantum theory and light matter interactions. As a result of her efforts, Zhang Ying was the co-author on a paper in the Journal of Applied Physics, which was subsequently recognized with an editor's pick. In the words of Professor Lau, her contributions to the work rivaled that of the most experienced graduate student on campus. Once she got into the lab, her research took on more of an experimental nature, which focused on measuring the thermal conductivity of drawn polyethylene under cryogenic temperatures. The project presented challenges given the tiny size of the samples, and precision was required. Zhang Ying had to come up with clever methods to efficiently make reliable electrical and thermal contacts. She also learned to set up and program LabVIEW-based measurement control system in the process. Now the research team has an automated measurement system in the lab thanks to her efforts and, and that of her mentor. As a result of this work, two publications about their results are currently in preparation. Zhang Ying was characterized as the best undergraduate researcher Professor Lau has ever mentored at UCSB. She will start her PhD program in quantum science and engineering at Harvard University this coming fall. Zhang Ying, would you please come to this podium? <laughs> On behalf of Chancellor Yang and the Academic Senate, it's now my pleasure to announce the recipient of the Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Research. This award recognizes distinguished undergraduate researchers honoring exceptional contributions to the creation of knowledge in the awardee's field. The recipients are chosen by a panel of Academic Senate faculty from three broad disciplinary divisions, sciences, humanities and fine arts, and social sciences. The award this year is given to Matthew Ho, a computer science major who worked under the guidance of Professor William Wang. Matthew was involved with the development of WikiWhy, a groundbreaking question-answering framework that challenges and evaluates the reasoning capabilities of large language models by requiring comprehensive natural language explanations of cause and effect questions. Matthew's work on this project showcased his ability to identify and tackle complex, open-ended problems that are of paramount importance to the advancement of artificial intelligence research. By developing a data set that demands rigorous, explicit rationales, Matthew's research promises to improve large language models and deepen our understanding of their reasoning capabilities. Matthew's work was accepted by the highly acclaimed International Conference on Learning Representation in 2023 as an oral paper and testifies to his dedication and unique problem-solving abilities. In the words of Professor Wang, the impact of Matthew's research is significant. The demand for more sophisticated reasoning capabilities in AI systems has been growing rapidly, and Matthew's work on WikiWhy has the potential to revolutionize not only the field of artificial intelligence, but also the accessibility and utility of data-driven insights for a wide range of industries and applications. After he graduates, Matthew plans to pursue graduate studies in the area of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Unfortunately, Matthew was unable to be present at today's ceremony. So we now invite the candidates to the platform. 
please get your electronic stage pass ready. During the reading of the names, we ask for your respectful cooperation towards your fellow classmates. Students, please return to your seats after you have crossed the stage, and we mean that. After our final candidate has completed the stage crossing, then, and only then, will we return to confer your degrees and close our ceremony. Kiana Madsade Haravi, Madeline Ballman, Nicholas Brown, Stephen Nguyen, Omkar Longkar, Satyan Sampat, Nicholas Wenstad, Omar Buzdar. Gabriel Totev, Ragbir Chimney, Victoria Reed, Heather Din, Archana Nupane, Maya Ha, Kritika Tanige Ivelan, Andrew Tran, Summer Khan, Isaiah Garcia. Yu Hong Dai. Tiffany Lee. Rajbir Overoy. Takahiro Uno. Tony Espinosa. William Pang. Ryan Murakawa Ruben. Jason Morais. Angela Zhao. Doris Way, Kelly Lynn, Stephen Mann, Andrew First, Ryan Perkins, JP Raimondi, Ken Kubashima, Ishwan Lai, Jason Lee, Young Lay, Khalid Millar, Anthony Botros, Charles Bow, Skyler Winnig, Jake Yim, Jake Amano. Sahil Naik, Rutvik Ja, Sumit Gupta, Arjun Vinod, Ian Beresford, Logan Owis, Ryan Butler. Jake Levine. Xiyue Huang. T. 
Etienne Beauchamp, Jean Cleverie, Owen Conberry, Aaron Ambrise, Connor Rappeljay, Isaiah Gama, Isaac Rivera, Chase Hartzell, Daniel Cardenas, Ryan Mosalam, Jackie Chan, Isaac Neil Zanoria, Maximilian Shan, Mitchell Lee, Carlos Rivera, Clark Cho, Leon Shen, Wei Ming Huang, Alex Monko, Gabriel Albert, James Frieda, Nathan New. Alberto Huang He, Adrian Lindell, Gama Aristando, Iman Urfenfar, Stephen Chang, Alvin Tu, Nicholas Ong, Wyatt Swist, Tyler Hattori, Alex Dinkelacker, Brayden Tolman, <laughs> Kenneth Wang, Brian Chung, Sean Sen, Daniel Van Dalsam, Nihal Singh, Dang Win, Eric Xie, Luke Huang. Yuya Nemoto, Andrea Nee, Sabrina Maldonado, Celia Holong, Camille Wardlaw, Maya Fors, Kaylee Steenhausen, Yu Ling Zhang, Abigail Lang, Gabrielle Wirth, Rahul Shankar, Will Borlick, Prabhat Jandiala, Sam Farzam, Timothy Jones, Anthony O'Day, Scott Fan, Allison E. Timothy Zhuang, Noah Dutra, Sergio Colis Chavez, Kai Hilborn, Philippe Rerol, Jason M, Dylan Chan, Max De Rossi, Clifford Su. Robert He, Richard Rao, Sophia Chang, Tommy Nguyen, John Judge, Andy Wu, Jesus Oviedo, Matthew Chen, Kevin Wang, Tanawat Techa Um Nuaiwit, Jay Guk Song, Kevin Coffey, Max Chrisafoli, Si Hao Shu, Alan Albanez Camacho, Marcus Kandar Curie, 
Nabil Alansari. Lua Lu. Joshua White. Ariel Kim. Neha Icharam. Michelle Kim. Abiram Devada. Joyce Shea. Stephanie Anujararat. Juan Gutierrez. Miguel Castaneda Renteria. Sean Shanley. Daniel Lone. Wilson Fan. Ryan New. Matthew Tran. Anika Aurora. Rukmini Bapat. Anisha Kabir. Shriya Aluru. Robert G. Pranav Acharya. Bisman Sodi. Lauren Daniel. Ryan Hansen. Riley Batalan. Anshuman Dash. Avinash Parampali. Vikram Bhagavatula. Isaac Lamb. Ryan Wenger. Olivia Gillum. John Michael Kirchner. Arjun Singh. Hunter Massey. Jin Chung. Andrew Sa. Michael Howe. <laughs> Tiffany Chung. Andrew Ma. Viet Nguyen. Sarah Kwan. Jonathan Wang. Joseph Byun. Yefan Pan. Shia Shu. Tian Rei Hu. Limin Ding. Qian Chi Huang. Yan Dukic. Calvin Dewar. Shanak Kale. John Rowlandson. Anthony Pella. Linus Rydell. Joseph Cianfrani. Neil Bergen. Nicholas Brusinos. Rika Aram. Michael French. Robin Wang. Tegan Conan. Noah Lutz. Brian I. Eric Wu. Jason Lee. Daniel Shamtab. Yong Chen Lin. Eduardo Garcia Andres. Michael Kaho Lee. Shivani Deklurker, Sean Chu, Amy Howe, Garrett Peak, Colin Iverson, Craig Weiner, Maxwell Bonham, Marco Ristick, 
Mikhailo Glushenko. Ethan Kim. Jason Dunn. Brian Lee. Michael Curtis. Calisto Ruiz. Matthew Garrick. Brandon Katz. Leon Fang. Chase Alcorn. Andrew Chang. Cannon Crow. Eric Force. Anthony Migliaccio. Amir Rahman. Ryan Chambers. Andrew Bresk. Jacob Gardner. Austin Sutter. Joy Sanab. Jana Crocker. Lonnie Joy. Tara Miller. <laughs> Ruhi Patel. <laughs> Stacy Serace. <laughs> Catherine Farish. <laughs> Megan Styling. Giselle Jimenez. <laughs> Eric Lemieux. Christopher Malesko, Justin Lai, Sammy Umezawa, Sheldon Lau, Rowan Tran, Royce Nguyen, Evan Nguyen, Wyatt Spivak, Jackson Cooper, Sebastian Ramos, Micah Morales, Nicholas Johnson, Saul Gallegos, Jonathan Cardona Garcia, Young Jun Yu, David Rodriguez Lopez, Alp Parker Napier. Cole McKim, Christopher Stashowski, Matthew Reddick, Su Hyun Choi, Sung Jin Kim, Ebony Warren, Sarah Metternock. Joseph Armstrong. Aaron Yu. Yvonne Liu. Fluellen Arman Yumali. Shinda Huang. Jeffrey Chen. Adam Yu. Simon Yu, Ryan Chow, Anna Ko, Calvin Shah, Alvin Yang, Courtney Pham, Christine Wan, Richard Yang, Daniel Chung, Tyler Solian. Huai Shu Huang. Nicholas Maybe. Arogia Pandey. 
Jared Dukes. Mauricio Munoz Valtiera. Jorge Gutierrez. Beck Cherry. Connor McCune. Riley Esqueda. Aiden Cockler. Warren Zamudio. Yi Jie Tsai. Yi Lin Huang. Bo Huen Duan Mu. An Zhao. Hao Tian Xia. Ning Xia. Xi Chen He. Brian Kang. Alvin Pan. Zi Heng Ma. Ethan Wu. Chi Shun Liang. Ethan Mead. Chi Yue Guan. Hao Tong Han. Hao Xu. Chi Su. Jin Huan Chen. De Hyun Yu. Hyun Kyom Kim. Nicholas Tran. Tae Song Kim. Sunny Huang. Matthew Luckenbill. Kevin Tran. Kenneth Deng. Kevin Hong. Nick Wang. Si Xuan Mao. Si Ru Hu. Qian Shi Fu. Hao Jun Yo. Yi Lin Ko. Xiang Ying Zuo. Daniel Iskander. I now invite Chancellor Yang and Professor Susanna Scott, Chair of the Santa Barbara Division of the Academic Senate, to step forward to confer the degrees. The degrees conferred by the University of California attest to scholastic achievement and to represent the university's fulfillment of its primary responsibility. Today at the engineering ceremony, we are conferring the, the Bachelor of Science degree. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science, please rise. Chancellor Yang, I present you with the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the regents of the University of California, I confer upon you who have completed all of the respective requirements the degree of Bachelor of Science. Please be seated. There is one last thing for you to do in receiving your degrees. For many of you, this will be the last instruction you take from a UC Santa Barbara professor. The tassel on your mortarboard rests on the right 
symbolizing your candidacy for the bachelor's degree. Please transfer it now to the left to signify that you have attained the degree. Congratulations. To our graduating seniors, you have our very best wishes for every success. On behalf of the College of Engineering, I sincerely appreciate your attendance today to honor our graduates. We shall close our ceremony by singing our university song, led by Allison E. Please stand for the song and remain standing in place during the recessional while the faculty exit the commencement green. Okay. 